Hey lovelies, thanks for stopping by my channel today. I am really pumped for today's video because it's gonna be a hair tutorial. Uh, mostly because I need to do something with this hair. Honestly, probably from that far away, it doesn't look too bad, but you guys, it is pretty dirty. This is day, I don't even know. So I thought that this would be a good opportunity to do a quick little hair tutorial for you guys. I actually had requests for this one. We're gonna do the little like side braid pony sitch that I had for my Divina Cosmetics like haul swatch, I think that's what it is. Um, by the way, if you do wanna see that, I'll make sure to link that up above and down below in the description box for you. But this is really just a very quick, very easy way to make your dirty hair look good. And that's what I'm all about. Now, if we haven't met before, my name is Kelly and I am a professional hair and makeup artist. And here on YouTube, I strive to keep beauty real. Real honest, real relatable, and real fun. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy. Don't forget to hit subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on those future videos. Very important. Now, I am personally, while I am a hairdresser, I am all about celebrating recycling your hair. So minimal washing just to keep your hair super healthy, but having those quick and easy ways that you can still have cute styles that maybe aren't a messy bun. I love a messy bun, don't get me wrong, just rocked one yesterday. So today we're just gonna kinda like amp it up a little bit, but honestly, doing something that shouldn't take any more time, well, okay, maybe a few more minutes than a messy bun, but really have a cute outcome. I'm gonna stop rambling, let's get into this. Let's go over what we're gonna be needing for today's hairstyle. You can, of course, have a brush on hand. I actually brushed my hair before I started this. It might not even look like it, but I did brush it out. Uh, and then we're gonna need little hair bands, so almost the kind that like are on braces. I would recommend clear ones for blonde or lighter hair, and then the darker ones for darker hair. Makes sense, right? The other thing that you'll need is one little hair band. Now, I recommend these like skinnier type, I think, the thick one is gonna be way too much, definitely not a scrunchie, but something that is a little bit bigger than the small rubber bands. You can use the rubber bands in a pinch, I just find that sometimes they snap in that step. So I'm also going to have a clip to clip up my hair, and I'm gonna be using a clipless curling iron. Now this is the Paul Mitchell Express Ion Unclipped 3-in-1, so this actually has three attachments that you can take off, and they did have some a la carte ones that you could purchase to snap on. This was a limited edition one, um, but you can use whatever clipless iron you prefer, although I am obviously partial to Paul Mitchell ones, but I really do like this reverse cone. So the nice thing about this is it's gonna be tighter at the base and looser at the ends. All we're gonna be doing with this is going through and really giving our roots a little lift and a little bit of volume. Now, you don't have to have a clipless iron if you do prefer using a, an iron with a clip. There are certain times that I actually prefer that, but for this, I feel like you just get a little bit closer to the root and you can get that volume that we're looking for. But if you don't have one, you can certainly use a regular clipped iron. Now, the other things that I would recommend is a great heat protectant spray. The Paul Mitchell Hot Off The Press is my favorite. I did go through with a healthy dose of the Invisible Wear Brunette Dry Shampoo this morning. I'm not gonna go on too much about this because it was in my 20 top beauty favorites of 2020. If you wanna see that and you wanna see it applied, you can check that out. I will link that up above as well. And then I really like to have a texturizing spray. The Invisible Wear Undone Texture Hairspray is a great one to have. All right, so we've gone over the things that we need. Let's get right into this. So first, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to section off some of the hair that will be at the top of the style. Now I'm gonna be pulling this all over to one side. So you wanna kind of decide where you want your part to be. I think that that's gonna be pretty good. I might just take a little bit more here. Yeah, I think that's gonna be good. So rather than curling all of my hair, because what is the point? That is way too much time when all of it's just gonna be essentially in a side braid. But I do want to have a little bit of extra volume and movement through the top of my hair. So all we're gonna curl is the top of our hair. So I'm just gonna take, mm, I would say about two inches from each side of the part and pull this back. Make sure to get a little bit of the crown too. I think sometimes we like don't pay attention to what's going on on the back of our head. So I feel like sometimes we forget about what the back is gonna look like, but people will see it, so make sure that you address it. So I'm just gonna very loosely clip this up. It does not have to be perfect. So all of this hair, all I'm gonna do for now is go ahead and just ponytail this off just so it's out of my way. Now, this whole secret of like just doing the top of your hair, I use all the time. If I'm gonna be doing lower chignons, if I'm gonna be doing a braid, anything that, you know, most of the hair is like tied up in a way, I don't address the rest of it. It takes too much time. 
I like things that are quick. Like I love styles that look like it took a little longer than it did to do and I get to hit the snooze button. So this is one way that will help save you some time. So now that we have that bottom hair sectioned off, we're gonna take down this top. All right, now I did try to adjust the camera so that I could be far enough away that you guys will be able to see what I'm doing. Hopefully this works out. All right, so what we're gonna do is take sections from our sides of our part. Now, this section is a little too thick. I'm gonna split this into two horizontal sections. So we'll have two right here. I'm just gonna flip this side over, and then I'm gonna take a little bit of the heat protectant spray. Now, I'm not gonna lie. A lot of times what I will do is just go through, and I think I might actually do that, all of the hair that I'm gonna be curling, I'll just spray the heat protectant spray on like before I get going because in all honesty, halfway through I tend to forget anyway and I wanna make sure that all of this hair is protected. So uh, this hot off the press spray is really great because it has wheat proteins and rice hull extract and that's really gonna help protect your hair from the heat damage and uh, it does have a little bit of hold but it never gets crispy or crunchy. So I have my iron set at 370 degrees. I have very coarse, naturally wavy hair. If you have finer hair, knock that down a little bit. If you have mega coarse hair, you could turn the heat up a little bit. So I'm gonna take, since we're just going for really quick, I'm gonna take about two inch sections and we're going to start about an inch away from the base of the hair. That just makes it a little easier for me to wrap this hair around. And then I like to roll it down closer to the scalp, not all the way down to the scalp. We're not trying to burn ourselves, but get a little bit closer. So then I want these ends to not be on the iron very long, A, just because they don't need to be very wavy. And also they've been on the planet a long time and they've seen a lot of heat. So I don't need as much time towards those ends. So just a little touch will do. And I'm gonna pull that out and hit my heat protectant spray. All right, so then we're gonna take this next section. Now, I am going to do all of these away from my face. You could certainly do a little bit of both. You could do some away from the face, some towards the face. It just depends on the look that you're going for. But for this, I'm just gonna do them all away from the face. All right, so we're gonna move into this top section. So you guys won't be able to see like all the way up, but you don't really need to. So. What I wanna do is make sure that I am like 90 degrees from my head. So what that will do is give me the maximum volume. If you hold your hair down here when you're wrapping it, it's gonna lay a little flatter. And sometimes you want that. Sometimes you don't need like big voluminous hair, but A, my hair's a little dirty and it needs that extra strength. Um, but I just, I just like a voluminous hairstyle. So I'm gonna make sure that it's 90 degrees from my head, from right where that section is pulled out. So straight out from the head. I'm popping this down and then just touching those ends for a moment. So, wow, I look a little crazy, but stick with me. It's gonna look cute at the end. So you guys can see how much root volume I have there. I am going to not touch these curls. I'm not, I'm just gonna leave them there. They're gonna sit there for a minute and we're gonna move over to the other side. Now this side, I have a little bit more hair because we have a deeper side part. So I'm gonna need to take probably three of these horizontal sections and it doesn't have to be perfect. Like this is all about easy, like, a little bit more carefree look. So your sectioning doesn't have to be perfect. You are good to go. Again, holding this out. So I wanna make sure, because this is where this is coming out from, so it should be 90 degrees out from the head. So I want it here or even a little bit further above, but I don't want it to be down here. And it's hard, especially when you get like halfway through curling your hair. A lot of times, you know, maybe our arms get tired and we are feeling like we can't, we can't quite hold it up anymore. But when you get to the top of your head, especially, that's where you want all that volume. So make sure you stay strong and uh, you'll have some really nice, big, voluminous curls.
All right, so here we are into our second horizontal section, and I'm just gonna go through and continue. Now, one thing that I wanna note is I am wrapping this flat like a ribbon. So I'm making sure that my fingers kind of keep that section really flat and ribbon-like and not chunky and rope-like. And I can go into that in future videos if you guys would like to see, but um, I might even actually have a video where I kind of talk about that. But I do have a hair tutorial playlist here on my YouTube channel. I think all the other videos that I have are filmed at the salon. And you know, they're pretty relaxed and casual, um, but I really do think that they have some great content. So if you guys do want to check that playlist out, I'll make sure to link it down below and uh, pop it up in the eye as well. All right, our last section here. Now, because this is right where my part is going to be, I really want to take care to make sure that we get lots of nice root volume. And obviously I have a lot of product, well not a lot, I have product in my hair from the previous days that I've styled it this week. Um, so I didn't really need to add anything extra, but if you are for some reason doing this from clean hair, you'll want to make sure that you have put something in your hair before it's dried, um, whether it's a volumizing mousse or a styling cream or something to give your hair some hold. All right, so here we are, we've got our curls. Now the key here is to not touch them. We don't wanna run our fingers through anything and this is a key anytime that you're curling your hair. Keep your hands out of it. Keep your hands out of it for a good five. If you can do 10 minutes, that's great. I honestly usually go longer. Normally when I curl my hair, um, anytime I'm styling my hair, I usually get up, I'll grab my coffee, I'll curl my hair, and then I'll move on to my makeup or do something, and I'll keep my curls looking really chunky and PC and not touch them at all. But if you touch them and start raking your fingers through while they're still warm, you're gonna pull out all of the hard work that you did. You're gonna lose volume, you're gonna lose wave, and we don't wanna do that. So we're gonna let this sit for a minute. I am going to pull out this hair underneath. Now we kind of have like a style mullet. It's like curly on top and straighter on the bottom, but it's all gonna come together in the end. So I'm gonna have a sip of my coffee, let this sit for a couple minutes, and we'll come back and finish our style. Oh, so while I'm waiting here, I want to know what hair tutorials would you guys like to see? I do want to start doing a few more on my channel. Um, I know that that's something that people have requested. I was also thinking about doing a like Q&A for hair help. So for that Q&A, I was actually thinking about doing a live Q&A just so that that way, like I could actually chat with you guys a little bit more because, you know, just answering a question and then like not being sure if you got the answer or if it makes sense. So I thought that, that would actually be a really fun one to do. So let me know if you guys would like to see that. So yeah, I'd love to know what you guys would want to see. Uh, do check out my current playlist because I think that there's a lot on there. I get a lot of questions about how I curl my hair. Um, I was thinking about doing an updated one for you guys. Just, I mean, I kind of do the same thing, but if you guys want to see a new video, I would totally be down to do that. Obviously I have some better lighting here, um, a little bit, better equipment. Honestly, all of my other hair tutorials were just filmed on my iPhone. Um, so, you know, it's like I said, it's a little bit more relaxed, but the information's all there, but I would certainly be willing to do an updated one for you guys. So yeah, whatever you guys are wanting to see, I am here for you. I hope I can help. I'm going to get back to my coffee and then we will finish. Okay. So now my hair feels completely cool. We're good to go. I'm going to take a little bit of the Invisible Wear Undone Texture Spray, and I'm just going to spray a little bit of this throughout, especially like on the root area, just to help give me a little tossel. We'll end up working some of this through our ends um, before we start our little like pony braid situation. But you guys can see like, so if my little like style mullet wasn't here, but look how much volume you get from those curls by doing that. That reverse cone and letting it sit and making sure that you're elevating that section when you're working with it really creates a ton of volume. Now, I obviously have a lot of hair, which helps me, but I promise you, if you take some of those tips and try them out, it will help you. So now we're gonna get our part, give it a little zhuzh. And then we're gonna pull this all over to the side. So really, I just did those few curls on the top on the side because by the time I pull it over, you're not really gonna see a lot of it. So it's important, you know, to put your time and energy where it's gonna be seen and not waste time doing sections that don't really matter, right? Okay, so 
I'm gonna just take a little bit of the spray, get that section. So now we're gonna take our larger hairband and pull all of this hair to the nape. So I like it like a little bit back behind my ear. I find that if it's too forward, this piece kind of dangles. So I like to get it a little bit further back. Now, if your front pieces, like if you have a shorter layer and they fall out, totally go with it. It's cute. Um, mine are a little bit longer right now. So you can either just leave those pieces out or pin them into the style as you go. But um, mine right now just go right back. All right, so we've got our little side pony. Then what I like to do is take some of this hair and pull it back out just so it's not like super tight. I want it to be kind of like tousled, a little messier. And this ponytail, I don't want it like totally up to the base of my hair. You do want it just a little bit away and you know, like a little looser because we're actually gonna tuck this in. So I'm gonna take my fingers and part this. So if any of you guys had a topsy tail when you were younger, um, I might be showing my age here. Maybe some of you don't even know what that is, but like we're basically gonna almost like topsy tail this. So I'm parting my hair above the ponytail and then I wanna make sure to really have that cleanly parted. Then I just flip that ponytail up and tuck that in. So if you guys can see that, super cute. So I'm gonna actually zoom you guys in for the rest of this so we can get a little bit more detailed look. All right, so hopefully you guys can see that little flipped ponytail. Now, you could certainly, especially if you wanted to then just take this iron and wrap a couple pieces to sort of blend in. Um, if you have like previously styled hair, if you've already had your hair curled and it looks pretty good, this alone, like I do this all the time because it, it looks a little bit fancier than a regular ponytail and it looks like you tried hard, but you didn't. So this is something that I do all the time. I really like how this brings it in um, closer to your neck and it just has that like, I don't know, like feminine vibe. So now we're gonna move on to the like braid or bubble pony. It's not really a bubble pony, but it's more like a flippy braid situation. There's probably a name for this, but I don't think I'm probably gonna name <laughs> this uh, video the flippy braid situation. That probably won't get many views. Anyway, let's move right along. So, boy, right now my hair's dark enough that I'm probably gonna actually use dark hair bands. Usually when I've got my hair lightened and it's in its rose gold state, uh, I use the clear ones, but um, I haven't had time to do my hair, so it's on the list for the next couple weeks. So you guys will probably see the rose gold hair again soon. So how many of these that you use will depend on your length. So you could certainly have shorter length than I do and get a couple of these in here, like two or so, but we're gonna probably put three of these in. So I'm just gonna take my little like rubber band and let's try this like maybe, hmm, like two inches below. Of course, it stopped recording as I was doing it. So I just put one of those hair bands, the rubber bands, about, I would say like two inches below that original one. Now, you guys saw like when I flipped the pony like that, that's why I find that I like to use a traditional hair tie for that part, just like that movement sometimes can make those rubber bands snap. You might find that it works, but definitely make sure that you have a hair tie that is close to your hair color so that that blends in if anybody can see it. So we have our first hair band placed, and guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna do the same thing. So you're going to part your hair and then flip it through again. Now what you wanna make sure to do is if you wanna see the most detail of that braid, if you will, from the front, make sure that you part it down the front. If you part it from the side, you're only gonna see it from the side. So if you want it to show this way, make sure that you part it this way. So I'm gonna get in here. Now, if you have a really like fine slippy hair type, make sure that you add a little bit of that undone texture hairspray um, or the texturizing spray of your choice to your sections as you go through, like just spray that ponytail good because this is gonna be where that will help you in this, um, like flipped braid situation. So then as I've got this, you guys can see it almost looks 
like a fishtail a little bit, especially if you have a little texture with your hair color. So then I just kind of piece and pull and get this like pulled out a little bit. I want it to be a little bit disheveled and not like perfect. All right, that's pretty cute, right? So guess what? Now we repeat. And I think I'm gonna do one more. Um, I feel like I feel like my layers have been growing out so much that these sections are like super thick because normally they're like they feel a little bit thinner, but I think that I my layers are just growing out. Now the nice thing is if you do have really heavily layered hair, this tends to control all of that. So if you find that sometimes like braids just don't stay very well because you've got hairs popping out, this tends to usually keep that. And honestly, like when you pull it out, if some of those hairs come out, I actually like that look. I like it where it's a little less fussy and more like, mm, I just happened to throw this in. I'm a model off duty kind of vibe. All right, so they will obviously get smaller as you go down and you have less hair to work with. And you can pull these out as much or as little as you want. And I do recommend doing most of the like pulling and piecing before you move on to the next section, just because it'll be a little easier. Because if you think about it, like what's up here when you pull, you're pulling what's down here too. So it makes it a little harder um, and you can ruin some of your work as you go through. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna keep it a little more like contained today. So then all you have to do if you need it is add a little hairspray and you're good to go. All right, so why don't I zoom you guys out a little bit just so we can see the final result. So here we have our cute little ponytail. I love it. Like I think that this is so easy and so quick to do. It looks like you did a lot more work than you did. And that is my jam. That is what I strive for every single day. I want it to look like I worked a lot harder than I did. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Let me know down below. Are you gonna try this one out? And again, please leave any hair tutorial requests down below. Leave any requests down below. I would like to know what content you guys would like to see this year. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you did find it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. That does help me out. If you have hairstyle lovers in your life, don't forget to share this video. I will see you guys really soon. I keep my curls looking like, and I'm just gonna spray a little bit of this.